Greetings to all and welcome to our video on authentication and uh, authorization in Oracle Apex. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make sure that only the authorized user have access to the menus that they were expected to have access to and not to other menus. Now, we assume that you are already logged in in uh, Oracle Apex and you are presented with this screen. Now, to go into authorization and authentication issues first you need to choose your app in our case by going to app builder inside app builder you will see the list of apps that you have been building and in our case we are going to choose cms sap which is the app that we are building inside that app you need to click on shared components if you want to look into your authentication and uh, authorization issues. Now, once you are inside your shared components, you must first click on application access control. Now, inside application access control, the first task is to create your roles. In our case, we want some admins. That is a role. We want some lecturers, another role, and we want students. So let's click on roles. Now, we can start adding those three roles. I'm clicking on roles and let's start with the role of admin. Admin's roles will be identified with the identifier admin and we can say role of, or we can simply type admin. Like simple things simple. Then we can now click on create role. The role has been created. Similarly, we will create another role for the lecturers. We we'll call it lecturers. And the inside, we'll also just say the description is lecturers. Lecturers. And we click on create role. The third role that we are going to create now is to have a role for students. Student roles, the description is also simple, simply students. Create role. So now we have three roles, but those roles do not have users. Now, Remember, when we started, we went to the administration and we created a certain number of users. We can go back there, administration, and you'll see that inside manage users as group, you will see we have a user, the administrator, you have another user, which is a lecturer, a third user with a student, and the last user. So I can then go back to App Builder, Apex. Let's quickly go back to the higher level. From there, we will look at our app. It's not a problem. And then we go to CMS app. And we were seeing the share components. And the one that we are interested in is the application access control. In the application access control now, we want to 
assign some users to our roles by clicking on user role assignments inside user role assignments we are going to add user role assignment let us choose one user for example this is the admin this is one user that is created up there in the administrative roles and we know it is part of the admins and we can now create the assignment another user is the professor now we are going to add a new user role assignment the it was prof if i remember well the user this was the name of the user and this was a lecturer we can now assign i'm just checking that we didn't do a mistake we can now assign the role of lecturer the third one that we have to assign is the student it was student and then the name was the same and from there we can say it is a student it has been created the last one was zukisa i remember well it was zukisa as a user and he was also a student so we have now assigned all our users to different roles let's go back to see how to authorize those users by going back to share components in share components now we can go to the authorization schemes we are going to create the first authorization for admins we create it and uh, from scratch next the name we'll call it admins only that is the authorization is only for the admins and we are going to choose is in role or group from there the name of the group is going to say which one is it admins group and from there the message would be only for admins please very very good from here we can create the authorization schema for only the admins we are now also going to create an authorization schema for lecturers only now we are going to call it lecturers only only and that is also for the group that we define we are going to choose here is in role or group and the name if i click here it will give you the different names and this one is for lecturers and we got to say for lecturers only please very very good then the authorization schema can be created by clicking and it is created the last one is for students and we are going to go to the next step and type the name of the scheme we we'll call it students only which is then a role or group authorization type from which group from the group of students we choose students and we are going to say 
for students only base. Okay. Uh, exclamation to say small o right and it is be created. Let's just look at our time quickly to see if we have enough time. Very good. We can now go back and see how do we use those authorization schemes. If we run our application now, let's run it. You'll see what will happen. You can see all the menus appear. So irrespective of your student or lecturer or student, you see all the menus. We're going to change the situation in a way that if you are an admin, you'll only see the admin menu. If you are a lecturer, you'll only see the lecturer menu. And if you are a student, you'll only see the student menu. Let's go. So once we are here, we can go back to the shared components. And this time, we'll go to the list to see our navigation menu, the navigation menu. Now, remember the navigation menus, there's the admin menu, the lecturer menu, and the student menu. Those are the high level menus. So I'm going to start by editing the admin menu. The admin menu is being edited and is telling me, by the way, authorization, I can see entry, I can see target. I'm going to look at the authorization. And inside the authorization is telling me no authorization scheme. And I'm going to change that situation to say, I only want for the admin only and I can apply the changes. Similarly, after doing the admin, I can go to the lecturer and edit it. Lecturer is being edited now in the authorization, and I'm going to choose which authorization, lecturers only, apply changes. From there, I can go to the last one, which is now the student, and edit it. And also apply the scheme for students only. And apply the changes. Very, very good. From there, let's run the app. 